What's up everyone, my name is Michael and welcome to Box Mining. Today I want to demystify Bitcoin Gold because there's a lot of confusion surrounding this project, its ideas, its pre-mine, and how to even claim this. So I do want to talk about how it's going to fork, then I'm going to talk about how to claim your Bitcoin Gold, and then I'm going to talk about the controversy surrounding Bitcoin Gold as well, and I'm going to talk about my views on this project lastly. So let's start off with the concept behind Bitcoin Gold. They want to change the mining algorithm for Bitcoin from SHA-256, which is you know ASIC friendly, to Equihash, which is GPU friendly. So the difference with that is that GPUs are everywhere. They're graphics processors, we all possess them, and ASIC are hard, custom hardware. The thing with ASIC is that right now there's a few big manufacturers of ASIC, and the people who want to mine have contracts with them so they can get them for cheap, which means that Bitcoin eventually gets a little bit more centralized as the key people, the big miners, get more control over it. The thing with Bitcoin's gold is that it's trying to use the same Bitcoin but decentralize it a little bit more with the GPU mining, and it won't be compatible with ASIC mining. So that's kind of the core difference between Bitcoin gold and Bitcoin. The thing is, because they want to make this abrupt, sudden change, they have to do it with something called a hard fork. Because the regular Bitcoin network will not support this change because the consensus rules has been decided by the servers already. So that's why they can plan to do a hard fork and they're going to cause and create a new coin called Bitcoin Gold. Ta-da, hence the name. So what's going to happen here is that new coin will be created and if you possess any Bitcoin prior to the split, that is at 491,400 107, then you're going to have both Bitcoin and Bitcoin Gold. The thing is, you do have to have possession of those Bitcoins. So you can put it in, say, maybe an Exodus wallet or your Ledger S wallet or a paper wallet. Any of these wallets will mean that you have full possession over your Bitcoin and you can eventually claim your Bitcoin Gold through various processes that I'll discuss later once the coin is launched. But if you have your Bitcoin in an exchange, you're at the mercy of the exchange. So some exchanges, for example, Bitrix has issued a statement that they will be giving you your Bitcoin gold, but the fork date is a little bit earlier. So they're going to um, take a snapshot a little bit earlier to the actual Bitcoin gold fork date. So that's just because they want to make sure this backend is secure and they're going to freeze withdrawals, etc. There's also Bitflyer, which will accept um, and give you Bitcoin gold as well. So it really depends on exchange. There are exchanges that completely do not want to give you Bitcoin Gold because they don't want to cause the confusion between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Gold. So it really depends and after the fork it's going to be a little bit more clear what's going to happen. But if you really want to have ultimate control over your Bitcoins then of course you might want to move it into your own wallet. That said, if you're moving it to your own wallet, you are responsible for the wallet safety, so make sure you know what you're doing. So Bitcoin forks and everyone gets Bitcoin and Bitcoin gold, right? Everyone's happy because now we created more value. Well, that's not the full story because there's a little bit more to that. The project has gone through a few iterations. They started off with an ICO. They wanted to raise money for a project and make a little bit of money on the size for themselves. And then they realized probably that didn't work very well because it wasn't very interesting. And then they have something called a pre-mine, which is definitely going to happen. So what is a pre-mine and what's going to happen with the Bitcoin Gold pre-mine? Well, what's going to happen is after the fork block, they're going to mine it for themselves for 8,000 blocks. So they will not allow any one different public to mine it. They will only allow exclusive developers only to mine this Bitcoin gold. So that's for 8,000 blocks. And with each block giving 12.5 Bitcoin golds, that means they're going to have 100,000 Bitcoin golds at their own disposal in their own accounts to spend however way they want. So they want to use this to fund this project in the future. They have, you know, put up these startup expenses to try to explain how they are going to spend that pre mine gold cryptocurrency, but you do have to trust them for that. And that, that's the issue. And that's what's driving a lot of controversy around the project because the, pro the project has gone through so many iterations that the developers have lost a little bit of trust with the community. And because there's so much Bitcoin gold out there that they possess, it might potentially crash the market if they try to offload it all at once. So just by a rough estimate, if a Bitcoin gold is worth $100, which is around one third of the price of Bitcoin cash, then that means the developers will have 
10 million dollars worth of Bitcoin gold to spend at their own disposal, which I'm actually quite jealous of. I think, you know, they came up with one simple idea and managed to make quite a lot of money. And that's quite a lot of Lambos for everybody. There have been attempts to remove the pre-mine, but I think this is going to be very difficult because the developers can change the code, their own code at any moment before the fork. And if they're mining privately, that means you can't really contribute anyway. So it's pretty much developer exclusive and part of the package. Now, let's talk a little bit about exchanges because exchanges have issued statements about this. So, for example, Bitrix said that they will issue out Bitcoin Gold to anyone who possess and hold Bitcoin on their exchange. So, they will close off the date a little bit earlier than the actual fork date. That's probably because they want to make sure everything goes on well, but they're going to give you Bitcoin Gold on a one to one basis. Other exchanges, such as Bitflyer, are announcing something very similar as well, but not all exchanges are doing this. I think it depends on the exchange. So, so if you have your cryptocurrency in an exchange, you definitely want to see and ask them what's going to happen with the Bitcoin Gold fork. So what do I think about Bitcoin Gold? Well, I personally think that it's going to open the floodgates to even more Bitcoin forks in the future. Bitcoin Cash opened the floodgates. They made it a successful case where Bitcoin was forked and the fork stayed alive afterwards and it has value. So now if this is successful, that means anyone arbitrarily can fork the network and if they can generate enough media attention, then it's going to have value. And Honestly, if we keep forking Bitcoin, it's going to feel like printing money. It's going to be like Bitcoin's getting diluted more and more, and it's going to cause more user confusion in the future. So it's bad for the overall network. Whilst it might be good for people, individual people to gain a little bit of extra Bitcoin gold or Bitcoin platinum or Bitcoin mobile, it does mean that in the future, there's going to be a lot of confusion when people enter the space and see 50 Bitcoins out there and they don't know which one to buy. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen. I don't really support this movement, this move, because I don't think that decentralization should be done in this fashion. And if you want to have other currencies that are you know, more decentralized, just like Ethereum, then why not just go for Ethereum? I don't see why we need to change Bitcoin and combine that with Equihash. There's also other mining algorithms out there. There's also other coins that use Equihash, so miners should be pretty happy at the current state. There's also Zcash that use Equihash Music Coin and everything else. So adding this there, yes, it's good for miners. Yes, I am a miner, but I honestly don't think this is good for the ecosystem overall. So what do you guys think about the Bitcoin Gold hard fork? Did this clarify this up? Do you trust the developers as well? Because all these statements are issued from the developer's side. And the thing is, we do have to trust them in order to believe this because they might just completely change the code at the last minute, change the pre-mine block numbers, and they might be like doubling or tripling the amount they can pre-mine. It's just that easy because they have full control of the network during that time. So do you trust them? So I'd love to hear your comments below and what you think of this whole situation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to this video and click the notification bell to be updated on the latest discussions and videos on this topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.